Okay, uh, so this is uh, Susan Chan. Yes. Uh, we are at Compton Online in Gävle. Uh, so, who are you? Well, I'm Susan Chan. Um, I am a museum consultant and a researcher. I live in New York right now, although it looks like next next year I'll be in Washington, D.C. Okay. Um, cool. <laughs> uh, so, what are you working on right now? Uh, well, I work on a bunch of different things. I uh, am... I'm finishing up some work on Steve, the Museum Social Tagging Project, which is a, a, co a collaborative research project um, and, and a development project that I started when I was at the Metropolitan Museum of Art uh, about seven years ago. Um, we've had very generous government funding to think about social tagging and the ways in which it might impact museum practice, um, but also to do some serious statistical research about the value of tagging and whether or not it actually helps to, um, to bring new descriptions to collections um, and whether or not people enjoy doing it. Yeah, yeah I'm quite enjoying that part of your speech today. Is this something we in Sweden should look at? You absolutely should. And as a matter of fact, I think that the last time I was here, four years ago, um, when I talked about the project, a bunch of people from the culture ministry uh, came to talk to me um, just afterward and had recommended the implementation of a tagging project. And I think that that recommendation was not followed. But, okay. um, we were very, very pleased to have some interest in the project, and in fact, we now have tools that will allow anyone to participate um, using our hosted service. Okay. So it would be something that you could consider doing without spending very much money or investing a lot in infrastructure. So you should look into that. You should. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what were you talking about today? Uh, today, well, I was given quite a lot of latitude to talk about whatever I wanted, um, but, it, but, but, but it seemed appropriate um, for the for the opening of the conference to talk about the sort of my engagement with uh, collections online, which is what I've worked on mostly um, over the course of the last 15 years, which is essentially the history of museums on the yeah. internet. Um, things have changed quite a lot, and it was interesting for me to sit back and try to think about the ways in which my attitudes and the attitudes of my colleagues and our, co and our community have changed. Um. I was going to ask you about the Wikipedia thing. So <laughs> you just briefly okay. mentioned Wikipedia. I did. Um, I did. And in fact, I was mostly talking about my own projects. Um, I only work um, in, 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 ver in fits and bits um, on Wikipedia. But I think it's a terribly, terribly important um, project. I also think it's really important that we engage with the question of what Wikipedia means for the museum community. We all complain and groan and moan about the fact that it is the go-to resource for anybody who's thinking about art, and that includes us, museum professionals, um, and particularly about art museums as, as, as um, organizations. And yet we are so fearful of it and so nervous about what it represents and the fact that we don't quite know how to engage or contribute to it. Um, we, I, I, many of my colleagues think that the best thing to do is to ignore it, um, and they know that they know better. Um, and, you know, we all know better, but we need to think much more about what the best ways to engage with Wikipedia are, I think, so that we can be comfortable again with this idea of what, you know, of it speaking about us and about our collections and about art in general. Yeah. Uh, I have some more questions. <laughs> uh, what are the main benefits of museums going online? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, it's a short no, question. No, no. <laughs> I, I would say, and, and going online is one of those tricky, complicated questions that has many, many tentacles. So going online for many people means putting your collections online, and I think that we are trying to think of it in a much more organic, larger sense. Um, the main benefits were always, what we always said was, um, to, to engage with a broader audience, to provide more and richer engagement with our own sort of existing on-site visitors. I think that the interesting thing for me is that in the last couple of years, we're seeing a bunch of benefits beyond that, which is the, in, the, the um, creation of links between mu our museum knowledge and content with all kinds of outside resources so that we are no longer about art, we're no longer about museums. We exist within the context of this whole network of information about people who make art, people who consumed it, people who looked at it, you know, cultures that fostered it, and a range of different kinds of ideas that, that place our, our collections in much richer and more interesting contexts. So. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else I forgot to ask you about? Uh, I don't know, but you can always call me. <laughs> yeah, I will. Thank you a lot. Thank you very, really very much. Nice it was lots of fun to be here. Thank, Thank you. you.